Jimmy PT юу яалч. Байдалтай бир маала юу вэ? Хайр мэл хот анзаарагүй гэр. Ви шитрэ дээрээ тавлаа. Амтэй смокт очиж Sayıcıda emir Мичгүй. Энэ амар ч юм уу. Лайдер ви лив дис. Уу гэсэн юм бэ? Мичгүй. Өөр амар ч юм уу. Бүр хүссэн дарах тасах нэг нь үзтэй миний зургаа Pistol. <laughs> 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 Freeman just slow walks forward, perfect knowledge of the angle, takes him down there and then. And this is something I mentioned, that Tyloo, so far, the peaks that they're taking, the pressure they're going for, it's something that seems expected, because he's still a bit disappointed, the flash is still disappointed. So as long as you're able to dodge those, you feel like you've got a better chance of winning the match. This time what's the case, obviously, the first game is great, but then taking apart your swarming play, your dry peaks, the holding pretty... Unfavorable angles at times as well. Money is looking like right now for Greyhound. Should be able to walk by. Take two guns, so they should be able to scrounge something to get up. Yeah, we're really starting to trade the bottom of the barrel now. The bottom of the barrel. Bottle? Bottle, perhaps. But um, just a single orb in this round. We saw the double orb earlier from Greyhound, hasn't really been replicated. Didn't have too much success to be fair. Double eight finds him such a strange spot away from him. No ants this time. Very much sold. Nothing happening just yet. No cause for concern from Greyhound. Bit of Util getting tossed back and forth, and that is a much better nade. Still in summer. Charlie has a million yeah. flashes right now, and I think he's favorable angles that he's trying to try and take in an over allocated position. The problem is going to be in. He doesn't get blinded by that. He leaves. He ducks behind the sandbag. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, what? Double sandbag with an op. This might not be the plan. Alistair, oh. though, wants to go in. This is his angle. Good for one. Looks for two. Can't find it. Summer. Will he expect a second? No, he doesn't. Ends. Set up for greatness, and it's a flame that'll take him, but not. Before he finds two. The Vex site fast on the rotate, so Tyloo can't exactly accelerate into the B-bomb site anyway. That was a bit of a cheeky bait and switch from Greyhound, and it works out nicely. Meanwhile, though, Freeman has been exploring brackets. And he's got a bit of space. I mean, it's tough to get through here, isn't it? Sicko obviously watching that line. Just a little pixel gap from him. Catches Freeman off guard quite nicely, and you've still got to get past Liaz in pit. There's still going to be one minute. Utility. And the respawn coming towards top window. Or top mid, that is. At the moment, very quiet. What's the decision going to be made here? I thought they were going to go for the silent drop, but no. They're going to be picking the crucial instead. And shield front the connector, so he wanted to see if he could be ready, but instead, Fame will shut it down, and it's time to save once again. It's going to be 13 to 12 here. No reason for Into the Breach to stick around. Nah, that was more hinging on Crucial. He 
had to get a shot there to Avram. If he doesn't, the whole thing falls apart. You're expecting Zoltaris Harris to one to one. The fact that he's able to get away with two kills as well is pretty damn monstrous. They are playing aggro exits. If we get the replay, I bet you he's short right between their ankles and the first player coming around the corner. And because of the heartbreaking. Good idea. It didn't work out in their favor. Ice is nice. He's making it expensive. This actually does matter. Not just for his In the service of Salamene. I am a robot. Yeah, just kidding. Either way, it's the second attempt. Imagine the views coming through. And the views from a high stakes moment, too. Thankfully, it doesn't happen. The Versus Pro, though, let's move up towards their 12th round. Going with the war, but it all comes out of the Cairo once again. Double entry into a ramp is just monstrous. It's all he plays in the party. This is such a solid dodge. Just a crap over that early part into the A side. And then alone, he just sort of be cannon fodder. Gives them space to work with. 13, 12, and so they still have a lead. Dr. Clinker. Yeah, so far it's, what, 7-3 in favor of the second half. You know, if, if we had started out this way, we'd be saying, man, people are not going to be right now. I go. Ice is nice. They already did play on the two side of the team, but still, that's kind of the context for where we are. Double orb on the CT side. Vault. Secondary orbing at the moment. Yeah, it's pretty powerful. It does allow you a little bit of alivity, usually over what's a B bomb site, where you can have that deep angle. And it means you can more easily rotate the second player that's a B into middle, or even all the way into the middle. In the service of Salamene. Oh, I was in full leaf for that one. See how it pays off. They're looking like they want to make their way over towards a Yuto being stepped up as well. Consmos there, smoke CT potentially to come through as well. Just to give them some alleviation of pressure coming forward. The void deck is they've got to go here and now. The problem here is that Cypher could get completely isolated. He, he needs some backup. The smoke's gonna be going down. He needs somebody to help him. Rollin, good shot to begin with, and they're testing this back. Oh, he never even gets a fire a shot. And Chiron, he's not missed the bullet in ages. Another good headshot to bring down Crucial Rollin trying to keep his in this round, we go on B to catch him once again. Wide swing. Thomas, though, will stand up to Chiron finally. And Flip, he may have to use that smoke and reveal where he is. Look at his game back there. Flip's in the middle. What a connector. So they can't easily help each other out here. But the performance at least can't take for the middle. So there is a shot in here into the breach. They see an opportunity. They want to go for the retake. They don't even want smoke. They have a kid pick up either. This is going to be a very, very tough retake. Jane gets shut down. Run. Just keeps it going. A triple for him. But now. Got the perfect lineup. They hit for 10 seconds deep. They finally pick up a kit in the meantime, but I don't think they could do it. Flip will shut it down. Nice triple. Great bomb plant position. And just a great after plant here for VP. Yeah, really well played. I mean, Flip sets up so nicely that even your teammate fell. <laughs> when you play with Lena, you it's tend exactly to get burned. The bridge, I think the big thing for them is burning their last smoke. Not on the bomb. It just made, you know, made life so easy for Flip. Karen once again. Like you mentioned, not missing any shots right now on the post bomb flip. Mm, gotcha. perfection. Three kills to his name on the way out, and you can see just how annoyed they are. That was no sign. Yeah, I think they almost ran into the bullet, and I think he just almost got that one free. Yeah, so that's a real shame, but I don't blame them for going for that retake. You probably should have had to have done that right. Two or three. And then they pick up a kick right at the end, so there was a real shot at it. Tied up once again, it's 13 13. VP finding their eighth round on the two side. Cypher, someone's taking Flip. But he doesn't have the information. Yes, he does. He'll find the kill. Flip to four. Cypher, once again on entry. Be brilliant. Matching that of uh, Kyron. Coming towards VP. The orb is shot. And all out to four, but he cannot convert. Yeah, well, he needed that spray. It's so close and crucial. Look at Kyron as well. Maybe the back by the bench. This is really dangerous. You can do a lot of damage back here. And remember, the bomb is not planted yet. They don't really need to be this aggressive, but they are. Cypher's pushed all the way up. This might actually turn out really well. They might not expect it. He's going to crouch right on number 10 with the flick. He takes down Cypher, and another headshot comes through. They're fighting their way back. Rollins to the rescue as he takes down Jamie. Falcon has 
just taken down Maud in a monstrous defeat. I've got to say, I think it was 16-8 overall. That's really sick. That is a big, big win for Frank CSGO to try and make themselves representing a Paris, but of course, here are towards UK what is CSGO. This? A game of some sort? And Versus Pro are going to burn their fourth and final time out. They are really under the cost. They're feeling the pressure. And Dasan just definitely going to rally the troops to make sure that this isn't the upset of the RMR. Yeah, Falcons, you're not wrong. French would get Paris, obviously. You can all understand that. Here instead, the British are trying to put themselves in the counter strike map. And make it just three. It should definitely be easy. Behold the scourge of Ice Rack. They've gone for AK, one Galil, a couple of pistols from Mac 10, and it's all coming down to be here. Rolls jumped in here last time. He tried to put down the smoke and create some space, and it did not work out for him this time. He's got some backup. Rollin, can they get the Molotov up in time? That's going to segment the push and vault. That one kill is huge. It slows everything down. And the rest of the people can't really get here. Rollin's going down, but Rollin's going to be there in the bomb is committed to the I mean, Jane got the shot on the other side of the pillar and then he walked back into it. Unbelievable. Into the breach. They're getting close now. 15 13, and they are one round away. Look at the cash. Look at the funds over towards yeah. BP. They are in dire straits. Failing for just a tech nine. A triple Galil and Jamer on AK with such limited utility. And it's looking like it's going to be a quick A here. Yeah, Kicker just walking out with no warning. Crucial. Oh, he's able to adjust. That's normally when you die with the AWP. You're just not ready. There's no flashbang to set it up. And now Thomas, a little bit of trouble here with the MP9. He does get the dink on and flip with the headshot in return. So three versus four. As they have a one man lead on the BP side and are looking to bring this a step closer into overtime. They can't lose the crown in the breach. They don't have any money for the next one. There's the bomb on the ground. Cypher, he's done it all the way through. And now he just needs one more shot here to maybe seal the deal. Volt will get one and Cypher. Look at yeah, yeah, you are such a rotty thing. What is this? A game of some sort? This will be a
Monster kill! Hello guys, welcome back to the second half. It's 10-5 scoreline right now for Greyhound. The fans, I'm sure, quite happy with how things are going along, but managed to claw a few back in there. Tito, what's your take? I see they've definitely got the ability to bring it back to this point onwards. But Greyhound in this set now has got to make sure they do. They've been setting up for some great players. Regional damage has been very good. That's actually what actually helped them win out the round in the previous as well, because Kaido just froze. They had no idea what to do with three of their players and on 10 HP and they've got no info on the map as well. So it'll be interesting to see how that switches over now that neutral damage isn't necessarily going to be the largest priority on the side. But slow frog, ooh. Yeah, no one really set up at the moment for Tyloo to deal with that, but they're going for the Nippo Cave themselves. Alistair has to fight back with Attacker, finds Elias as well, yep, Attacker right. goes falling though, and Alistair just locked out, he's waiting for the two players to push in, they will have an advantage at the very least. This is good though from Inns, he's been able to get himself just out in front of the rotation from Aristo, Dooley's in hand, and Inns, well, doesn't matter if you need one gun or two, Inns is going to pop your head off, Sicko out in absolutely no man's land on top of Graveyard right here, surely can't get this one done, but the bullets... Well, they connect on the first player, but not quite the second. He was definitely in with a chance for a moment there. But Ty Lu will come up trumps with the pistol, and it's an important pistol to win. Good prioritization going for Alistair over there. They let the bomb be planted. They're not too worried about that. They would rather play with Aristo coming in as well. And fantastic from Aristo, right? He's been struggling a bit on the T side because he was dedicated, uh, denigrated to being the banana mercantile. So he was just banana and taken down. But great stuff for him to tell the T side. Greyhound did get the first one. But forced by in from Greyhound, they didn't get the bomb down, so we're we'll getting Lilith there for Alistair. Okay, Sicko. When you play with Lena, you tend to get burned. forward noise has been made someone's gonna be rounding the corner Alistair didn't want to wait but he's gonna be forced to be put down but the bomb it's a little bit close they don't have a kit we've got to see it I think they should have it though judging by the reactions I think they've got it right there you go easy yeah I mean just a little bit of an awkward angle for Leaz isn't it right he's watching short he's obviously keeping an eye on apartments but the fact that you have to flick and he's also Rifles, not utilities, but now he smoked. Arista's got a molly out, but Zico's nade will still find him. Takes him down, double nade. Proves that Greyhound loves utility even on the T side. They do indeed. 
Remember, Dansky does have two flashes in the wrist of just the one. So either you're trying to go out for some counter plays or you're trying to go for aggression because these flashes late round are going to be in very limited use if you don't get something done overhead. One of the very slim amounts of util for my Tyloo is no success at all. The nade does no damage in mid. Good setup though on the side. easily see maybe the last guy sitting on the site just to get a cheeky one or two kill if someone's not quite paying attention hasn't got the gun out, maybe out a little bit too a early. New. but they can get that one over the line without too much trouble three guns alive as well so they're feeling confident aristo is saving a famous and a flash and one thing to keep in mind is that i've got the numbers here for me freeman is actually the best ct side rated player across the last six months of time he plays such a crucial position in pit every single time over. He's a 1.22 rated player on the CT side, but this time over, he doesn't seem like he's getting that impact. Greyhound's been doing a fantastic job of nading him down, countering him out personally. Even though Freeman dodged out all the flashes, it's actually the nade inside the smoke that does mean because they've already found a short player. It's not like they could be pressured. They've seen such bombs that you can't help your pick man. He's just getting hit. Yeah. Look, everything's going really nicely for Greyhound. You, you talked about that three-pong attack of um, Inns, Liaz, and Vexide. It's actually Inns, Alistair, and Sicko, but I think it's really oh, good to go for the the Dragon here doing well. The game's quite clearly going to be doing uh, pretty much the same thing. So, it's, uh, it's working out the plan for Greyhound. This time, Tyloo with not too much in 
the back pocket are going to try change things up a little bit. Dan King has managed to cross second mid unspotted. But the players at the bottom of Nana don't really seem aware of it. Nor does Vexai. So that is a big loss early on in the piece. Dan King can't quite hold on for a second. If he gets two there, that round becomes very scary for Greyhound. But he's able to salvage. does happen to USPs. You really couldn't imagine a more difficult round to get through for Tyloo. But look, Ims is low on HP if he gets timed there a little bit. Let's go down. That's an AK in hand for attacker. He's backing off. He's so afraid because he has the bomb and he's low. Freeman, given space, he gets another one. There's no one on the oh B-bomb side, but they don't know it. They don't know it. Sicko's stuck. He's going to be found out as well. He needs to fight his way out. The smoke will oh. do at least the bare minimum of distracting them. But now but the question is, on that B-Bomb site correctly. They don't know he's here, but Alistair picks it correctly and averts the crisis with Raven. He's got a keep him for the head. That's, that's, that's what I mean about Raven. They have a plan to get out of that situation. But right there, I mean, the spacing between Sigma and Enzo, I have to say, definitely not Sigma. Forward, not aware of the fact that there's a player in the cubby. Sickle with the bomb was feeling a little bit worried. He didn't want to go for the refrag, didn't want to go for the re yeah. He doesn't care the rifle goes on, but smart movement. I ride with the light. To storm toward a victory. Tyloo are under economic pressure, they're under scoreboard pressure. And this game is slowly dwindling away from them. Reinforcing the fact that they are one of the favorite teams at this event, and Inns has got a bit of a freebie there onto Aristo, spamming through the smoke, spamming through the wood wall, catches the head. And Tyloo down a member now as well. So, if it wasn't all that pressure that we spoke about before, it's now also numbers to favor Greyhound here. position to fight in from as he offers, but he does have space to one re-peek, and with Lias down, there's no more lurk, Sickle's gone, he oh. re-peeks, but it's a shallow re-peek, Vexite is there. That's such a sharp shot from Vexite, and one that they desperately needed to bail them out of trouble, now they can go for that three-on-one against Summer on the B-bomb site, he's going to get the info, 14 seconds here, Greyhound have to pick the pace up, it's a good molly, forces Summer back, Alistar planting inside the smoke, does get it down, Another three on three post plan ensues. Alistair will drop. The opportunity there was his, but taken by Freeman. It's also full kill. Vexite, the young gun, the new superstar of ANZ. But not today. Triple kill! I mean, I don't know how Alistair stays alive in that bomb over there. Someone just loves his line when he's going for the spray. It looked like he was right on the money, but then immediately after, Alistair tries to isolate out the banana peak. Gets taken My down quest and has been fulfilled. Road. Yep. But I do have a for a These dry peaks coming out, they're going to be punished. If Tyloo keep playing this defensive style and Dan King can hold on to the off, they're going to be able to punish Greyhound's dry peak right now. I mean, with that said, obviously Greyhound do have the time to adapt, so they're going to be recognizing that as well, same as what you have. You've got four or five rounds here to play with and really start to get it right. So we might start to see a bit more util getting tossed in, a few more offlines getting flashed. Certainly in this round, they've got enough to play with Greyhound. Flashes going over the top into the banana to push Tyloo away from that area of the map. Again, it will be Inns leading from the front to try to take control of that area of the map. Well, oh. Flashback would have been perfect. 
perfect if he had gone for it. Oh no. He knows the flash has been used. Dan King. Going to go for it. He's holding himself back. He's put a limiter on. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Because normally the Dan King of old, I think you said he would be. He would be keen for it. He'd be raring to go. But this is a new brand from him. over the top not going to cause any issues at all i am anyway. the dead of winter i am the dead of frost spreads are all usually as if the only one with one of them and the counter flash is perfect freeman what a beautiful delivery summer's just able to take sicko down but now where do they go yep. they've got no options i mean again though you're gonna see Ty Lu head back over toward the beef bop side and it's only two members here on a if danking doesn't hit this first opening huh. frag it could fall apart for Ty Lu. Greyhound does not have much time left to play with. Molotov does go down. Dank gets out nicely. You have to play that pit side crossfire. You've got attacker starting to rotate his way back across as well. Vex side there to cut him off. And that goes perfectly for Greyhound. Util gets topped down by Ty Lu. But Vex side is that pizza strike and bites the double. Freeman. Inside Carpus hiding in that smoke would still be the linchpin. Freeman He's waiting to set up, but they've got no utility on either side. It's the op that has to rain. Alistair's covering off a part because he seems to Enchanted, I'm sure. Hilu, they have to say. They've got no choice. Enchanted, I'm sure. And Dan King in that position is backing off. That actually ends up working out against them. Vexide is the one who gets the crucial kill. Don't get me wrong. But if Dan King is able to hold down that line, it actually gives them a chance in the round. Unfortunately, they're so reliant on attacker finding the frag that when Vexide takes him down, there's nothing. That bombsite player can do. Yeah, well, it's just another one of those little things that has gone the way of Greyhound, and I think he, he probably could come up with four or five instances of little things, 50-50s, that have gone the way of Greyhound that have really made a big difference on this map, and it's going to end up looking like a different way that they are. And quite a piece of time for Greyhound. Maybe it was definitely not without their opportunity. That's, that's the one takeaway. They had their chance, and they've squandered. player because summer is the one who got the kill right freeman throws the flash summer gets the kill and they're assuming that greyhound knows it's a player on b but greyhound they read into it they read into the rotation and they've been doing a great job of that the greyhound has had the number of tai Lu so far gotta commend them for that one they've, the research has been impeccable well i know they've been working hard in the lead up to this these are the events that mean the most to greyhound it's nice to win <laughs> the domestic events it's nice to go you know, over to some of the other international events. But obviously the major is where they really yeah. want to show their best foot forward. Get some more stickers in the game. Oh, oh my okay. Uh, the flashes. Turn danking around. I thought we were gonna get some vintage danking for a moment there. And they're going for an accelerated play, but they don't realize it's a double of one. But set up Freeman doesn't normally play this. They're not expecting this at all. So they're just holding strong and waiting for those picks to come through from Tai Lu and they've been given them. Jinez has the double, Siko has one. The issue here is going to be collecting the bomb. It's on the top of the hay car, just below it actually. They don't have much util at all. No smokes, definitely. No Molotovs either to sort of clear out dig. So one flash to work with. How do you get the bomb safely? Or do you just wait? Oh, yeah, just wait. The... To come through, he's spotted the head of Summer. He also sees attacker. Now they've got the info. Maybe Siko can just go and run at that bomb.
brain kid off the kill. Kylo are losing one round. Yep, it's a perfect analogy. It's good to see Alistair in fine form today as well. Very pleased. He's the, the vocal heart of the team. I'm sure. It's been a lot of the bragging heart as well. At the moment, that's true. So, one round away for Greyhound. And they will knock Tyloo down into the lower bracket. Move on in the upper bracket themselves. As of yet, unsure who they'll face. The eruption could be Invictus. And, well, with uh, a frag like that, I think maybe we'll get, get a bit of an anti-climax to this game. Inz has cleared the B-side. And this will have to be a 4 or 5 retake from Tyloo. No second chance. They cannot save. They have, they still have a smoke and a Molotov. How do you skill that from the bomb site? Half the bomb's already gone. Time to shove off. Gotta go, they gotta go. They've just got to run. There are no other options right now. Dan King down to 22. He's been spammed through the smoke. He's going to another one on the summer through okay. the smoke. And that is a bad call. She wrote, ladies and gentlemen, Inferno done and dusted. And Greyhound will win their opener here at the Asia RMR. A very convincing victory for them over Tyloo, who have now knocked down to the lobby. And Tyloo, I mean, look, you definitely saw them having a lot of those chances coming in. But so many squandered, and I have to give Greyhound so much respect right there. The amount of research that they've clearly done on this team is unbelievable. I've really been loving the fact that, you know, Starting off with the very first pistol run, I was going to go the first account of the second You've got some great views on your team. Triple kill! Backside point for some nice little plays as well. And yeah, Tyler had a shot from him, but man, I mean, Greyhound had, had ins. Well, that's the thing, it's like, yeah, okay, you say ins, and he did really well yeah. on that map, but Zico was 22 and 12. Yeah. Get your loaders running! He has 15 and 15, so he's doing his job as the, the side anchor. And Backside's there 14 and 13 as well, so none of the players on Greyhound really lagged behind. It wasn't as if it was a one-horse race or anything like that. That's an effort by committee. On the other side of the coin, though, and I know you mentioned this, and this is why I'm bringing it up, Aristo didn't have a great game there, 9 and 18. We sort of spoke about that at the start of the, well, the pre-match, I suppose. I mean, let's say, sure, Aristo didn't, but you look at the roles he was playing, he wasn't necessarily the reason why they were losing. Even on the CT side, I wasn't getting enough from, from Freeman. You saw Dan King restraining himself, and that could have been good, but when you couple that up with some misreads and everything, restraint is just going to come to the back and bite even harder. On top of it, I mean, I do want to do a quick call down by Just to pick up on that, though. Passmage Passmage My beard grows longer
気にはもしないでしょうけどキラグにちょっこよ。Your God has arrived. <laughs> God be with you.
Time for some roll. Тэр дээр яваа нөх чинь нөө бизнес мастерийн алаа цагаан ч угаарэг. Тэр чинь айгүй гайв лээ. Тэр нач юу яриад байна? Аа. Ой энэ тоглолтын дунд бага анализ маягийн юм л. Ер нь бас өөр надад тоглосон сарай өргөтгөтэй инферно бол гри хаунд бас одоо ер нь хамгийн хүчтэй мап гэдэг юм очиод байгаа штэ. Инферно гэдэг л юу гэдэг л заа яах нь те. Зайла. Яг мираж гарсан бол бас өнөхтэй шүү дээ. Гол нь хэтүүдийн мираж байсан. Оо май гад. Тий. Гайп гэдэг юм байна. Өөрт өөр нь эхлээд нэг зураг мөргөл гаргасан байдаг байна тий. За одоо ер нь бол за грэнд энийг энийг тоглоно. Грэнд ч бас сүулд одоо эсвэл проектэр ч бас нэлээд том том тоглолтууд хийж гисэн. За яг нэг гарын тагтам агтгүүд энэ уу нь бол нэг үзээ судалцсан байсан бах болов. Би бол ингэж их өндөрлөлт тэ найж хэл л да. Юу вэ? Ер нь хаашаа тал тий хаундын таван тал ч тавалт авах юм болохгүй байна уу. Тавалт авах юм уу? Тавалт авах юм уу? Тавалт нь хүний хийж байгаа хөөх хүний хийж байгаа үйлдэлүүд хөөх хүний одоо хийж байгаа буудлууд ч гэсэн маш нэг тийм он пойнт л байна. Яг бүгд яг байнда он жил панда банда ч зүрх бодс бодс тамарч байна. Тэгээ бас шууд миний панда панда хөрхөн. Энийсэн юм байна. Тэ дотс шмогт лайн дотс шла. Яаж мэж байгааг хэлсэн шүү дээ. Тэр мэр ер нь бол бас ер нь тайлогоор аванд байх хэрэгтэй. Ер нь нэг өдөр нь байгаа даа. Тэг өдөр бас өдөр бас ер нь чухал шүү. Капалив дэнкинг миний одоо дэнкингийн үед өмнө ингээд тоглолтууд нь харж ах нэлийм агрессив одоо нэлийм гоё эсдэг үү. Тэгтээ тайлогоор арай арай. Одоо энэ капалив дэ дэнкинг үнэхэ бүү батгүй л байна л та. Тэг шүү эсвэл анхаа болоод шүү. Тэг энэ анхаа болоод хаашдаш миний удаар зөвөр энэ яг одоо энэ европт ч битгэд тийш нь яг нэг одоо сул бодож би удаж байж. Тэг нөө нэг одоо уугын зөрөгтэй тийш нөө нэг баяхан да одоо зайг нь гаргаж байгаа ч давууг нь гаргаж байгаа тэгж тоглолтууд үсээс нэ байдаг байхгүй юу гэсэн чинь одоо амьдралд ч юм уу маш хоошоос болсон юу нэг агрессив үү гэдэг юу нэг цаг бол нэг ч харагдсангүй шүү дээ сэтгэж тэр өөр ч тэр ингээд байгаа ч юу нэг яг тийм үйл хэлбэрээс юу харагдсангүй тэр маш одоо тайлогийн бас нэг төлхөө би одоо мэйж орлоход нэг тоглолтын нэг хэм хоёр хоёрын сүм юм тийш тэр бүр насаараа юу хүлээ гэдэг хэрэг ч гарч шүү тий ч мэйж орвол ингээд сина мэна вэж тэн батаг шил өмсөхгүй юу за үлж ич Ол нэг нэг цогтг юу юу л бүр алхаа тай. Шох гол худалда. Аа. Би 
шин чи мэйжэр явыг ганцхан лут та мо те ганцхан драгон уус та арэ арэ хамт гайхал а ц а ц би юу шүү та энд и т р Ang kau tuh tiup, tuh 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 t Jarang kot taruh tir, hel tir tir wul tir, tir sni kiri tuh tuh tsing, wuro ti, tir tsia, amal amlim, hari se wit tis poro roh sni kue, oko oko i hing ars, nars no, arat mot, arat tak tak tsuk tsa 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 Can I go and get you to do like a qualifier, of course? And yeah, that's it. Well, let's see if they can change that zero on nuke or not, boys. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. We will lose things. I'm moving forward. Hey, welcome back, ladies and gents. That's it. Uh, I had the interview. I'm going to get you to do it. I'm there, but uh, at the same time, it is time to start talking about what map we think this is going to. Yeah, I'm, I'm kind of hoping that we end up on different territories here. You know, we've already been able to see Ancient, we've been able to see Inferno so far. I'm hoping that it's going to likely be a nuke. I'm really likely to see that come to play, really. Okay, well, we'll see what is going to be taken out there by Eruption. I've got to go to Inferno. No mirage, so nukes definitely being floated. It's a spicy pick, and you're on the money. Look at that. You, you, you. So, talk to me. Have you seen much of eruptions? Look at all. Well, I think this is where the biggest comparison point I have from like the old style eruptions to the new style eruptions is nuke, where it felt like they were a little bit. You know, force for wear in terms of you know, executing outside and actually making use of like the macro elements of, of what is a map that is all about how you rotate around the map. They they have more structure now, and that's that's really where I want to put that emphasis back on Dobu and Facecrack both respectively. Like it's going to be hard for Facecrack to I think be the the sort of front man for the squad at the same time. Dobu. Cannot afford to go missing. You know, these are all the fragments. I the the fragments. I don't the fragments. I don't no real favorite and unicorn is saying that invictus are the slight yeah, that's, that's, I that's, that's an interesting take but i think it's pretty accurate yeah maybe they're they're sort of jumping on the mini hype you know also another young prospective player it's coming up in you know, a relatively unrepresented region as well you know that's, that, those are always cool stories to track as we move further and further into their player career mini has been pretty solid as well like i think mechanically uh, a very like obviously a player that is going to take initiative in rounds even though again, I've heard as well that he gels really well with the Russian on the team. So uh, hopefully, you know, there is a little bit more chemistry than we last saw. You know, GG how playing at the last RMR. And it's been a while. They've got a, they've had a lot of work on there. Uh, that swap in there. But yeah, Nuke is going to be interesting to see how it goes. And I'm not 100% on who the higher seed is. Yeah, in no, they will get me at the same charge. I would assume it's eruption. I would actually assume it's eruption. Eruption is second seed from Mongolia. That's so short. First seed. From Middle East. So like, uh, yeah, that is actually yeah, important. Yeah, yeah. No, that's, that's yeah, something that I wouldn't have really thought about. Uh, the, the, the seeding in my head is like based on where I placed them in the world, I guess. But you know, with the with the way that the the yeah, qualifiers work, yeah, that that actually yeah, could be something that affects like, how this plays out. Because I, you know, of course, these guys were expecting that they would play yesterday. Yeah. Now the the expectation then changes. Maybe that changes the way that they would have approached this veto. Maybe even. Allowed them to get more oh, practice oh, in ahead mm -hmm. of this game, yeah. but at the same time, you're know, you setting you yourself up for that oh. game initially, only for it to to be deferred, right? You know that. Course no. Go ya, Archie, listen, Jere. Team team, be steady, Jere. Yes. What is this? No, that's how it's done. Go, 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 go. 
тэгсэн юм уу тэгж болох юм те би яах юм төвүүлж байгаа тийм тэмцээ тэгээ бүтэн сайт төрөг нэг хураанч мурамч гэсэн нэ тэгээ хүнээ одоо хин идэртэй ингээд орой морой ингээд о болохгүй гэж байгаа юм уу тэгсэн юм уу тэр 20 тэр нөгөө нэг ипл дээр нь баг драфт хийдэг шиг тийм хүмүүс авах хэрэгтэй маа ашиг муу хүмүүс тэр ч ботоо үгүй тийм чин багийн гэхэр чин тэгээ яг наач нэг тийм лог гэх юм алдаа та болчихно шүү тэр ч харин болохгүй нууц зүгээр ихэр орч хэлэж үтс тэгсэн ч гэтээ энэ ашиг арай л өнтөр өнтөй юу гэв Я би чи энэ дрипер дээр даалах нь хөө амтэр юм бэ? За ч ч. Тэр марав сайхал зочаад байгаа мөрөн. Ха марав сайхал ч бацхан тул уу юу яаж бацхан юм бэ? Хоёртой байх. Би сая би сая ороод уйлаад байж л. Уйлаад байж л. I, I think for this game, I'm, I'm really yeah, looking at yeah, which slot is going to break yeah, yeah, yeah. first. You know, they could play yeah. a very bog standard, very you know instrumental kind of CT side or T side where it's all procedurally generated, and we're we're taking outside. We're oh, going going I want to see someone try and do something a little crazy because yeah, I think the first player or the first team that actually breaks through with a round like that yeah. is going to suddenly have this massive edge because if you if you have the expectation that the game is going to be normal, only for that to then be. <laughs> Тэгвэл нэг төр томруулдаг л. Ийм хөөл янзтай байна. Амин нөхөй. I know, you know, in the previous map, they did do the vetoes yesterday, but for this series, for this best of one, I'm not sure if This could be, you know, one where we haven't seen a lot of prep for either side going in. You know, maybe it, uh, you said you expect the nuke, and at that point, you know, you should expect the players probably think they know where they're going as well, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm not the smartest. To, I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Hey, so really, I mean, really, if if I if I can predict it, they can usually predict it as well. Um, and, and that's that's I think where you know you just have to look at common ground and expect that. You know, this is a map that both teams have good reps on. I think we're gonna be in for quite a show when it really comes down to nuke. And of course, eruption starting CT side as well. So let's see whether or not Invictus can break bread in their T side rounds. We'll see how it all works out. But for the moment, it looks like we are gonna see Invictus for. a bit of outers control oh boy shinobi it's a boss in a common a cool student so going for the full wrap to heaven cool has already got his kills and they've already got so much information this, this wrap is going to be very very dangerous to have to perform but here's the problem you know the eruption have spread out so much on the, on the ct side that they have Hook. basically eliminated all options aside from the lower side mm. And that's where the last time we saw the team last time. Come on, see contact made here. I think the bombs down on the lowest. Who's going to push it? 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 Who Attainable, Yami so concerned. An opportunity. You and me, that one of the clock. A whole bunch of time to play with Yami, showing some respect here. Just playing around that Tetris all the way over. Eruption. And just slowing things down. Mini walking on idiot walls. It's the hardest part of that game. Time to strike. But look at the timing. Mini going to be able to thread that needle, retrieve the objective, and with 20 on the clock, he has no read on Yami's position right now. Neither does Mini. He expects that so because he got all those kills from Mini earlier on. That Yami must have made some crazy rotation. Trying to bait that one to land. Mini now just planting in for heaven. And does he suspect that Yami? Mini checking the one side, but Yami. Mini is 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 checking the one side, but Yami. 
Things are going to get a little bit more difficult for IG. Uh, bomb plant though, so we should be seeing that second round. Bomb. And the two young bucks going at it already and playing well, very patient cool. on that that 1v1. Yeah, they yeah. knew the importance of that, setting a precedent nice and early. Especially if you're on that T side, you know, a lot of maps have shifted to being more T side favored. You know, Nuka is definitely alongside them, but still, uh, you, you oh, have to favor the defensive the end. You see how quickly those odds shift as That's well, just want, because that first round pickup. <laughs> In with the force. Let's have a look here. Invictus again. Looks like they are going to put some high priority on this mid, uh, out of control, <laughs> rather. <laughs> 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 Wait. Going towards red. Looking to swing. Oh, Mini wasn't ready, he had his gun. <laughs> Out of his hands, and that's going to be more coming through. Fury as well with that flash assist over the top, and Dobu destroying attention. But Fury yeah, just tearing hey, a new one. Like the trade is half every interruption, right? Yeah, <laughs> just super, super uh, that's sweet. That's just the toughest part. Just very clean as well. The the way that they're taking these fights, a little bit risky to play in close red like that. But that's what I wanted to see. You know, trying to set your foot down early. Mm -hmm. Invictus already thrown in for a bit of a loop, and Fury yeah, even capitalized. Yeah, got you know, the 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 just rifle that they had hoped would allow for more picks to be found, but. Mestal's now dropped, and Fury will sweep up the rest. So all the rifles that they came in with, they get that and a little bit more. Interesting. Fury, you can see how low of a sense he's playing. Ah, Warwing, Beastmast, the man. The Beastmast, Warwing, Landrut, the hoot, the team. They're going to be very happy with that for the moment. And Yami's just getting a lot of confidence frags, you know, going up against the anti eco now, three kills outside. He is loving life. Farming the stats. Pat them while you can, huh? I think this they're gonna have guns soon again. And that cost. Look, he's down on the lower side, but we will see Yami at least falling. Well, so it doesn't fall for nothing. But look, four alive, two rounds back to back off the back of your pistol round. They're gonna be very happy with their financial So what, that's the second 4K for Yami? So you know, yeah. I think he's up to like 10 kills now. So about as good a way as you can start on one of your young stars. This will be the biggest test now, though. You know, that, that save is all in preparation for the buy of Invictus International. Mm. And I, I need to see production out of Mini almost mm. immediately. Mestal, another one that is, is very much a sort of instigator. Sometimes you can close rounds for you. Oh. Mori doesn't seem to be aware here. He is going to go for full clearance, but Fury a little more ready. Face crack and hit straight from top of silo there. And Yami just trying to find any answer. But the 4v4, down. they're going to be burdened by the idea that Yami can also be close by to red. Last time it was Yami baiting in for Fury to then take up his spot. So a little bit of hesitance. And those smokes on the cross have now faded. So having to make their journey down towards the lower side. But they're detached from what is a lurking presence as well back lobby. Play two from here, Invictus. Holes, but if you have a look at the map, there are options still all stacked on the top side of the map. I'm expecting Invictus to maybe end here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, go off these two charts. No really, in the hinder, go to kitch. Ah, go. In the hinder. But we do see that bomb starting to make its way out the top of the street. Ah, in the new year. Ah, let's see what let's see that the whole thing just does. Who meant? Eruption looked fully back in itself. Yeah, I mean, having the Molotovs ready as well, so cool is keeping it at bay. And a smoke as well down towards ramp. There, there's basically no way that they can actually link up with these B-side players, aside from trying to converge on the top side. Oh yeah, there's definitely the order as that is. That was not going to be the two-pronged approach to lowers, they but it is still day. empty. Yeah, they think it's a, you know, a little bit of a bad read. Cool last. He's going yeah, to pull a little bit there to pick up the entry, and that should be the site. Now we are going to see the fast rotation from all three. 
Uh, gotta get this bomb down, nice and quick. Dav crossed. Oh god, almost planning frontside decon, and that's oh. down. No one's holding for it. Finally, Shinobi dealt with, but not gonna be exposed. Oh, that planter did go down, and so Dobu bringing the numbers back thinner, but it's only him left. A one on three, and just surely too tall a task. Mini even putting it to rest. Three kills for him, and the first round for Invictus. A good one to get on the board, and relatively healthy with three alive at the end of it. They're gonna be happy with that, even though it was a little, uh, little awkward. You know, yeah. try to entry and ramp great util use. In yet the next bug, you know this in international use drama. Don't tell us. And unfortunately, retake. In just next watch. Shinobi almost get away with the murder, but they did not get the murder. Yeah, and also, you know, just it felt like eruption lost track of what what the possibilities were there from Invictus. Never spotted someone crossing towards the group, but because those smokes down, you have to honor it. They never had someone lower. They did so much damage outside, just constantly making the cross either towards red or now the secret steps. Yami and Fury are just being an absolute nuisance. One way as well. So hard to deal with. And that's going to be a free, untraded kill again. That was a base crack down earlier in the round at the top of the silo. Now things are a bit difficult. Mori and Mini. That's not a Yami lover, really. So, I mean, seeing it pop off so early in this game is... Certainly, it's tickling the taste buds. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? Lihat cara terus itu tu, tapi pas tahu ramah tu cuma. Tiada yang bandar mana tu, bahkan di itu tu. Tapi nak hindu mungkin tak nak wajar as. Ah, koron sentar. Ooh, nice, sugar crush. Siapa tu? Ini waktu tak cuci kem kita. Waktu apa tadi? Waktu. Tiwi perorat si. Tiwi perorat si. Nih kuliah gel tos cilebi, amar kuliah ni. Bsy ini, ya amar kuci ini. Oh, so chatter to her. I don't think I want to talk to him. I'm not saying it. MP. Bitcoin PSY in the yammer in the. You need him. Facebook him. Tinder. PSY. Ech mongol hui imu te? Te ni te ech. Yamar yamar yadro yu gol chu. Zia, yamar chile si yu sgur le. Ender chile ech tegno yach. Ech yu. Oya, stand putte gul du gul. 